Ian, the games are, as you'd expect, coming thick and fast and there's another one tomorrow against Bradford City. How, how was training today? Good, bright. Um, obviously, we we were pleased with the way we played on Saturday. Um, obviously, disappointed we didn't get the three points. I think we deserved them. Um, but we we have to make sure we progress from there for, for Tuesday night. It's a, an opportunity to, to get off the mark at home. We need to start winning games at home. There's no two ways about it. Um, so if we can perform to the same levels, um, as I said, we'll, we'll fancy our chances of getting three points. Yeah, I'm sure many would agree that Saturday's performance was perhaps the best we've played over a 90-minute period. Would would you say that that performance gives the, the group a bit more confidence going into tomorrow night? I think we're starting to see confidence building. I think it's going to take time, but you get confidence from results. And it, it was a positive result on Saturday. We're, we're more satisfied than happy because we, we feel like we should have won. Um, but... The, the two goals we scored, and we did score two goals, even though one was disallowed. Um, I think that's a, a glimpse into the future of, of what we want and expect from, from my teams. The football that we played, the way we were incisive with our passing was excellent and scored two excellent goals. Um, we just need to do that more consistently. And when we do, we'll win games. Um, the defenders, I thought they defended outstandingly well on Saturday, dealt with everything that came with Stuart them. They've been scoring a lot of goals. Um, positive. Um, but again, we have to make sure we go into Tuesday and rep replicate that. Yeah, Bradford, a team we've come up against already at the start of the season in the Carabao Cup. What do we expect from them when they come here tomorrow? Tough game. Well, Bradford are a big club. They've got some good players. Um, look, they've, they've already beaten us here this season in, in the Cup, um, which we're disappointed with. So we owe them one. Um, we want to turn that form around uh, on Tuesday night. And as I said, if we can play consistently like we did at times on, on Saturday and at times against Barrow, without the bad start, um, hopefully we can win the game. Yeah, because we've played them already, could tomorrow's game be a bit of a good marker in terms of the progress we've made in a sort of seven so. or eight weeks since then? I hope so, and I do think we're making progress. Um, yes, it's been slow progress and we're disappointed with some of the results and some of the performances, uh, but we are new to this. This is a 22-man you know, squad that's completely new, more or less. Um, but I'm starting to see signs now of improvement. The patterns are coming. Some of the passing patterns that we're, we're making now are, are improving. Our decision making in possession is improving. And defensively, you know, take away the first 10 minutes at Barrow, we're looking more sound. Um, so it's a positive, but we have to keep putting performances together, improve our consistency, and, and hopefully on Tuesday we'll see another positive result. The squad fitness situation, it's been a tough month physically with a lot of games. How are you looking coming into this game, and, and particularly Owen Doyle, how is he looking? Yeah, it's not ideal. Obviously, Owen's um, got a hamstring strain. We don't know how bad it is. We'll find out probably later on tonight. He's got a scan at four o'clock. Um, it is what it is, and I've said this many times now, with the pandemic um, and the way players miss so much football, we're going to pick up muscle injuries. I think 46% increase in soft tissue injuries in the Premier League alone this season. So it shows that everyone's got to adapt and overcome. You know, we, we're going to miss Owen, he's a top player at this level, but it's an opportunity for someone else to come and stake a claim to, to keep his place.